All right, all right, all right. Here we go. So we are back. Welcome back to another episode of Clark's Garage. <sighs> so what do I going to do today? Um, let's go see. I'm gonna go ahead and um, see my downpipe right here. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the mid pipe from the downpipe so I can mount the downpipe up itself because it's too much weight and um, it's only me by myself. So I'm gonna do a little by little. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, let me just pull it out. Oh. And then uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Shoot. Um, probably gonna go ahead and put on the piping from the the hot pipe and the um, the I guess the intake piping um, on this side so I can finish up everything on the driver's side of the engine bay and then um, we'll see what we got next in store on the next clip I'm not sure if it's gonna continue all the way on but um we'll find out so right so uh, here's my downpipe uh, with my wide band sensor I'm um, probably gonna run an open downpipe for a little bit just till the car is running um, and then we'll put the rest of the exhaust on later on um, as you can see that's just a mid pipe so I actually had an ISR single GT cat back exhaust but I sold the rear part because I wanted a little bit more noise so I actually have a Megan racing blast pipe that I need to have fabbed onto the end of the exhaust but um we'll go ahead and damn my dog I'm going to put this on reconnect my um my AEM wideband connector which is fucking under the car somewhere and then um we'll see you from there we'll take it from there all right so it's on I actually want to show you something real quick which is um yeah oh I'm getting fat anyways so what's so cool about the Tomei manifold versus like when on the my old or not the manifold but the Tomei elbow that I had prior uh, the turbo elbow that I had prior so one thing was I had issues with the clearance for my uh, steering shaft it would actually hit the, the elbow around this area so it was actually banged up and what's so awesome is the way if you can see it the Tomei um, I guess engineered their, their elbow it actually clears it I actually haven't tried putting on the steering shaft yet on and then uh, another thing was that um, my old elbow so my downpipe used to be banging on the firewall like rubbing against it and it clears it like like really clears it so which is really great I think that's also helps with the uh, Tomei manifold which sits a little bit lower and um, and I guess the the mixture between the elbow also so I'm kind of glad okay I'm not kind of glad I'm really glad I got the manifold and the elbow together so I um, actually need to go ahead and put my freaking steering wheel on so I can make sure the steering wheel is straight um, I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes as we speak under the car so um, I might save that for tomorrow I actually might just um, install the my quick release let me get out of the car real quick because oh, mosquitoes are killing me right now so I'll probably go ahead and um, remove my quick release uh, from my force wang energy steering wheel because I want to go hang up and put my force wang steering wheel on display because only a couple were made and I got number I think 75 so I'm probably gonna do that and then um, mount my my hold fast steering wheel hold fast alpha steering wheel and then put it in the car just so I can uh, make sure my steering shaft is centered and then um, mount my steering shaft itself um, still got the intake manifold to deal with we're gonna move it onto this table so we can start cleaning it up cut off a lot of the heater hoses that I don't need cut off um, 
I love the vacuum hoses I don't need or vacuum lines that I don't need that are completely useless um, yeah so I'll uh, catch you on the next clip all right so here's my steering wheel it is a gets nut La get nuts laboratory energy steering wheel uh, signature steering wheel for swing for swing signature I have a energy SFI shreddy uh, quick release as you can see oh my bad I got number 32 out of 75 so I know I've used it shouldn't have used it but I really like force wang style so it's gonna be one of my favorite drivers but um and kind of wanted to use it because it inspired me to to drift like him drive like him it's a lot of style and everything so what I have here is the hold fast alpha steering wheel I already opened it but we're gonna do an unboxing all right so here it is so it's the hold fast alpha and um, this company is also actually owned by a another uh, drifter his name is Micah Diaz shout out to him and his company hold fast and um, recall this is the hold fast alpha steering wheel I've always wanted one but um, yeah I finally got one so it's a suede I really like the way it is uh, horn comes with a horn button some tools some uh, bolts and um, he's a he, Micah Diaz is actually a Formula Pro 2 um, drifter and he's pretty badass he's a pretty sick driver so also with a lot of style and I'm gonna go ahead and mount my quick release onto the whole fast steering wheel I need to go find someone that can clean up the steering wheel because it's been used and abused like crazy and um, yeah I'll go ahead and uh, do that real quick all right so there you have it I have the energy uh, block off plate I'm not gonna run this on my whole fast steering wheel kind of messed up to do that um, here it is I don't have a horn well I do have a, a um, short hub racing hub on my car which allows me not to have a horn I actually have a horn wired up to a switch so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and pop this in so it just at least completes the look and looks pretty cool if I can get it in there I think I need two hands dang I think I need two hands for this <laughs> Come on. There we go. Finishes the look. The horn is there, even though it's not gonna work. But I think I should have ordered the whole fast uh, <laughs> this horn as well. But um, there we go. That's that's all we got for now. Catch you on the next clip. I am getting chowed by mosquitoes like crazy. So um, yeah. Well. Uh, take a break a little all right little. so i'm gonna end this video here or at least this this episode um stay tuned as uh the next episode will probably be cleaning up the intake manifold hopefully we can finish it up um so that being said be safe wash your hands wear your mask continue social distancing uh like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode